Damn. Damn. He's not even breaking a sweat. Yo. Now that's a fully realized villain right there. Who you know who does it better than this? I'm the boy who done get it. I'm on top of the list. Trying to get a good signal like a satellite dish. Every day to me. It's like a solar eclipse. Uh -uh. What's up, y'all? Your boy Leon. I'm the coolest South African geek. Welcome to my channel. About to dive right into CW Star Girl. I enjoyed the first two episodes, even though I thought they were slow burn. Even this one's called Summer School Chapter 3. The school stuff, the whole being a teenager stuff, really doesn't intrigue me. Um, The family stuff does, the superhero stuff does, the legacy stuff does. So, a lot more captivating stuff I in the show than I not. So, I'm still a major fan. So... Let's not waste any more time. This is the third episode. The previous episode ended with uh, Sydney being covered, controlled by the demon. Um, I don't know what this episode is going to be about, but I'm mad excited. We got uh, Green Lantern's daughter. I think she dipped at the end of the episode. So she's probably going to come back later on. But for now, it's back to Courtney and the guy. Oh yeah, and the shade showed up. A lot of flashbacks at this show. Are they showing us where Starman was? Oh. This is the headquarters? Johnny? He was the owner of Thunderbolt. I guess somebody else is gonna be controlling Thunderbolt now. This has to lead somewhere. Damn. Did Wildcat also have a kid? He didn't come back. Stargirl Summer School. Is the whole season called Summer School? Oh, he's definitely gonna be controlling Thunderbolt. It's the visual lang language of how this is shot. Can't introduce a new character in the mix. Then show him first, and I'd expect me to figure it out. You don't know how how powerful the shade is. Your son got jumped. Hey, you doing JSN the shade? They still don't notice. Damn. He's just being neglected. This is what I didn't want to happen to his storyline. What? If you can include the mother, you can include him. There's the pen. So is it whoever writes with this pen wields its power? Don't tell me he's gonna get jumped again. So cool. What is happening? Is that what he has to say to release him? <laughs> the VFX looks great though. And the lighting in the scene. They're introducing so many new members this time. This show is very convenient and having very spectacle thing happen in the public when nobody's around. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, he's try. The power thunderbolt house. What? <laughs> he's a jokester, man. Who's voicing thunderbolt? Johnny Thunder. Damn, if he goes to the bad side, he's a threat now. <laughs> With thunderbolt. So. The garage is their headquarters. I don't think so. I don't know. They don't know how to handle the villains if they catch them. Is this a storage locker that he wanted to buy? The items inside? There's like mannequins, hats, posters. Is that a casket? Dude went through the shade? He looks old. I'm not convinced he doesn't age. <laughs> or oh, he ages. Longer. Damn, that's creepy, dude. Looking for some mysterious suitcase? Oh, a box. It's not there. Is he looking for the demon Sydney got? Damn. He took the box anyway. Summer school! Yay! I don't think it's PTSD. I think. There has to be some ramifications of killing Brainwave. If she knows this random information, why you fail? Oh, she's been studied. 
Look at her study notes. I promise. Good girl. How did you <laughs> will see? Damn. The first thing he does with his power is use it nefariously. Even though he's helping this little girl, it's still nefarious reasons to use your powers, man. Yo, be careful what you wish for. Damn. They're surrounded by stop signs. Stand still. Damn, so that is just gonna keep on happening until they stop. <laughs> Go ahead, strip your son out of his abilities. <laughs> so the kids just disappeared? Oh, they walked away? Why didn't you show us them walking away? It's a weird choice. Damn. Been a bad dad, Pam. Just welcome him to the group, man. We're having a whiteboard montage? Really? It's a whiteboard montage. First of its kind. That's so specific. What was the whole sequence of him telling... Like Thunderbolt telling him he's alone, then them leaving him alone again? That's... that's just what the hell. Suit up? Don't the goggles not work? So do they just work as a computer now, not as an AI? Of course he's not gonna listen. Just goes to them already, man. The staff is a lockpick? It's a Swiss army knife. <laughs> he's been waiting for y'all. Are they legit about to have tea? I wanna see superhero fight off, man. Like she's sitting down. This is a nice shot, though. He's looking for a demon right now. If I was an immortal, and a former psychic came to me and called the new heroes kids, damn. Yo, he got taken down so quick. Damn. Damn. He's not even breaking a sweat. Yo. Now that's a fully realized villain right there. Yo! Oh, you kids are fucked. Oh, it's the staff is his weakness. Yo, that's so cool. Dog, he took you all down while sitting down. Now that's a villain right there. He feels worthless now. So he doesn't have trauma because it... She was trying to find an ally in this murder school. Murder group of hers. But no, you're in this club alone. You're the only one who chose to murder somebody. Damn. He lost his power in one day. Who's this? Wonder. She's introducing Wonder. a random Wonder. black family out of nowhere. Oh, Thunderbolt's coming to him. I am a loser. Damn, Mike really the was dumb for the one episode. <laughs> Does he know about the diamond? So they've dealt with it before. She's losing her shit. What's going on? My parents are having a divorce. Beth. I actually don't know what to say about this storyline. Hello? You're in danger. He knows about the black diamond. Here. Is that who the black diamond is? Eclipso? Damn. The shade a good guy? Is he a good guy? He seemed really concerned about the kids. That last line. <sighs> anyway, what a decent episode. What a decent episode. They had a lot of interesting stuff. Thunderbolt. Seems like they keep introducing somebody new. Then they conveniently vanish at the end of the episode. Guess the VFX budget. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But you know that's true. This was a better episode than last week's episode, no doubt. Because you guys, you saw them hero up this episode. You saw the threats build around them, suffocate them, be bigger than ever. Ah. Oh. Maybe they introducing these characters for them to come back and have a hero moment at the end. And the heroes are really down on their backs to be like, yeah, we're here for the rescue. 
what do I rate this episode? Let's say eight. Yeah, eight. Eight. I don't have much quarrels about them. Even though I found some nitpicky things while I was reacting to it. But it was still a good episode. Tell me what you guys think. Did you really enjoy it as much as I did? Did you hate it? Let's have a conversation in the comment section. Deuces.